these lines right here are the return lines. They're two inch lines, yeah. okay? And you've got three valves. This one valve I use just about every day when I use a spa because I have to turn it around to shut off. Again, these, are the re these here are not the return, these are the feeds. These are the suction lines right here, okay? These over here, we put, put down here. Those over there are the return. They come. These two. Yeah, they return. They're smaller lines. Yeah. They look like inch and a half. They return back to the pool. So when when I come out here to do the spa, what I do is I shut. I turn. I turn that valve over here, the far one. Yeah. Shut off. I shut off the spa line. Okay. I shut. No, I. I open up the spa. Right now it's closed. You see these these little ears. Right. Those ears indicate closed. I open right. that up. Okay. And the water circulates. In other words, when I bring this, bring this around, I use that tool. I bring this around to here. It shuts these lines off, and it only allows water I to you. go into one line. Right. Okay. Not to go into one line, but to suck into one line. Okay. She sucks into one line. She goes through the pump, over to the over to the filter. line, over to the filter. Okay. So. Uh, where is it to? Where is the? the it's tool? over there. Huh? Okay. Okay. You take this here. Okay. So basically, if I'm going to use if we're going to use a spa, okay. Essentially, what I do, I'm not used to, I'm not, I'm not used to doing it in this where I am here now. We're used to doing it over here. Yeah, that's all right. I get it. See, that's there right now. I'm shutting off any return coming right. in the and the pool. only water that's going through is is not going through it's coming from the pool here mm -hmm. and going through okay and if I go through and I shut this one off completely okay that's the return so basically what I'm doing is I'm getting suction out of the pool out of the spa and I'm returning water to the spa okay you follow me yeah which is what you want to do when you're just using if you're just heating it see right Okay, now, so to close it, I'm going halfway. It'll distribute it halfway. I'm going to shut this one off here completely. Okay, now the water is being sucked out of the pool with these two. These are all open right now. You see right. where? One's for the bottom drain and one's for the, uh, the well, top I, section. I, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's it. Okay. Yeah. And then, of course, this here distributes either half of the water goes, is fed into the pool and half the water is into the spa, and that's why you have a waterfall. If you shut off, if you shut this thing off completely like I did, there's going to be an overage of water coming into the spa. That's why you got the waterfall. I got you. Okay. 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 Now, what I do is when I, when I come out, I turn it on, and you see where it says set 93? It's set for 93 yeah. degrees. Okay. But there's nothing do, nothing going on because nothing's running. Right. Okay. So then what I do is after it hits 93, and I've uh, if I, if that's what I'm doing normally when I come out now is I, I jack it up, I jack it up to 90 uh, to 103, mm -hmm. 103 temperature, and then I go in in a little while. See, but I'm going to bracket bring it down to 93. It's not a big not a big deal. But when you get done with with spa, whoever gets done with it, basically. You got to make sure that that says off. I, I actually vision it when I go over to shut it off right. that I shut the whole thing off because you don't get in trouble. Okay, let's get that.